Welcome to Organize Your Ass Astrology for the week of August 9th to August 15th. Please be sure to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. On Monday, August 9th, Monday is the moon's day, the most sensitive, vulnerable day of the week. So be sure to double down on your self-care. Moon and Leo entering Virgo at 10.55 a.m. EDT. And on Monday, we're right on the heels of the new moon in Leo that we had on August 8th. So the new moon and the waxing moon, which is the two weeks after the new moon, so until August 22nd, it's about bringing new things into your life. It's about attracting things. And you may want to find out where 16 degrees of Leo falls in your astrological chart, as that's where there's likely to be a new beginning. You can also read your horoscope for the new moon that I wrote. I'll put the link to that down below. Um, but irrespective of where 16 degrees of Leo falls in your astrological chart, you want to use these next two weeks to allow Leo things in your life. And that means things that you really, really love. Anything pertaining to fun, play, children, creativity, romance, and self-expression. You want to really engage with the inner child and follow your bliss over the next two weeks under this cycle. Also on Monday, Venus will oppose Neptune. So it's not best to make major decisions under this transit as we may be over idealistic or gullible. While not great for romance or investments, this transit is good for art as work is likely to be inspired. Spiritual pursuits are also favored and music, movies, or dancing may catalyze the fantasy or glamour desired under this influence. So work your imagination, meditate, visualize, play, escape in healthy ways under this transit. On Tuesday, August 10th, get your motor running, head out on the highway. It's Mars's day, the planet of action, drive and initiative. So it's a great get shit done day, especially because the moon will be in workhorse Virgo. Virgo keywords and phrases include analysis, organize, order, cleanliness, details, discrimination, service, modest, health, work, and process. Virgos love systems and processes. Also, on Tuesday, Mercury will oppose Jupiter, arousing grand ideas and increasing our sociability. This transit may make it hard to decide what to do. Be sure to use that Virgo moon energy to be very discriminating as to what you put your attention on. There's also a tendency to skip over the details with this transit or to take on too much, so easy does it. Your ideas may be challenged by others, which actually might be helpful in clarifying your vision because under this transit, sometimes we can't see the forest from the trees. Strike a balance between being too provocative or too boring. On Wednesday, August 11th, Wednesday is Mercury's day, the planet of communication. So be sure to pad your schedule with a little bit of extra wiggle room. You never know what might come up out of the blue under Mercury's day. Virgo moon for most of the day entering Libra at 4.07 p.m. EDT. Remember to use the Virgo moon for service, hyper-focusing, cleaning, organizing, detail orientation, systemizing, regimes, and processes. Also on Wednesday, Venus will trine Pluto. So Venus is love and money, and a trine is a harmonious aspect, and Pluto is power. It's God of the underworld, and it's intense. So even though this is a harmonious aspect, you still have to you know, make sure you're channeling your energy effectively. Increasing our intensity and passion, this transit is ideal for intimate relationships and creative projects. Sparks are in the air, so meeting someone you fancy is very possible. Watch out, however, for obsessions and fascinations. Channel any extra fervor into something that feels good and is conducive to your values and goals. Some famous Virgos include Lauren Bacall, 
who is much maligned later in her life. She was considered quite the bitch, but there might be a very good reason for that. After Bogey, Humphrey Bogart, the love of her life died, she formed a friendship with Frank Sinatra. That friendship turned romantic. Sinatra proposed to her. And when it got leaked to the press that they were getting married, Sinatra called the wedding off. So there might be a reason why she was such a bitch. Cameron Diaz, cute little actress. Also Regis Philbin, who is considered the hardest working man in show business, who I actually got a chance to read. This is called Elements, You guys. want to go to the front, you're going to the back. So you always want to go forward, metaphorically, as well as literally. Pretend you're in Las Vegas. This is going to be part of Regis and Rogo. We'll take this on the road. Oh, no. I, that, that's, that's not a good sign. OK, that's enough. Regis, what I need you to do is, with your left hand, Separate the deck into three even piles. Okay. Now what I need you to do, Reed, is pick a pile. Pick a pile. I'm gonna go with this one. Is that your final answer? Oh boy. I want this one now. Also, Michael Jackson, who some people call Wacko Jacko, irrespective of what he did or didn't do, we can't really discount the contribution he made to music, to dance, to fashion. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure he did what he had been accused of doing. I really don't know. I, I might not be objective because I grew up listening to Michael Jackson, he was one of the first records I had. Some of the stories seem a little bit iffy. I'd love to hear what you have to say though. Do you think Michael Jackson did what he was accused of doing? Do you think so? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to, I'd love to hear what you have to say because I can't really bring this conversation up at dinner. People, people don't like it. I, I can't understand why. Also, Keanu Reeves, who is extremely Virgo, very Virgo indeed. In fact, Keanu Reeves wants you to know in the era of Me Too exactly where his hands are. So whenever he winds up hugging or embracing a woman, he always has his hand out, showing that he is indeed not touching her. He even did it with Dolly Parton. Here's his hand is here. I'm not touching her. He doesn't want to be accused of me chewing someone. Uh, I think, quite frankly, this is preposterous. Have we really gotten to the point in which we can't grab somebody's waist when we're embracing them for a picture? I mean, I understand him being prudent, but I think that's a little too much, a little too Virgo, if I'm honest. In any case, these are five Virgos who have brightened up the world. On Thursday, August 12th, Thursday is Jupiter's Day, the planet of expansion and growth and opportunity. So be sure to think big and maybe go out on a limb on Thursday. Libra moon, Libra keywords and phrases include adjustment, aesthetics, balance, charm, compromise, partnership, diplomacy, fairness, and indecision. Like the scales, Libras sometimes have trouble making up their minds, but once they do, supposedly it is final. On Friday, August 13th, it will be Friday the 13th, which I don't think there's anything unlucky about Friday the 13th at all. I love Friday the 13th. 13 is a number of Scorpio. It's the number of death. So there may be some kind of completion. The cross sum of 13 is four, one plus three being four. So it's a number of completion. So there's nothing unlucky. Be sure to have fun and spread the love on Friday the 13th because it is Venus's day. Duly so because the moon will also be in Libra for most of the day on Friday. So love, love, love. Energy at its basis is love. All energy at its basis is love. Even if you hate someone, the basis of that energy is love. If you drill down to all emotions, it all comes down to love. So if you wanna have as much energy and stay healthy and strong, 
then love and bypass all that other bullshit that is not love because love is the only thing that's real energy at its basis all energy at its basis is love libra moon for most of the day entering scorpio at 801 p.m edt so you could have a hot date night friday night libra moon throughout the day on friday is good for partnering beautifying pampering creating balance negotiations and kissing and making up. Some famous Libras include Bruce Springsteen, amazing musician. If you need some good workout music, put some Bruce on your workout playlist, specifically Born to Run, a really great workout song. Serena Williams, who is ruled by Venus because she's a Libra, yet it's her sister whose name is Venus which I think is funny because Venus Williams is actually ruled by Mercury because she's a Gemini. Meatloaf, who will do anything for love, but he won't do that. But what is that that he won't do? Is it he won't leave his wife? Is it a sexual act he won't perform? If you have any idea, I'd love to know. Just put your thoughts in the comments. Olivia Newton-John, who in an interview said that she didn't think her character or the storyline in Greece was sexist at all. That it was just about a girl in love with a boy. And I happen to agree. Luke Perry, who unfortunately we lost two years ago, he was only 52. And in fact, his death really shook a lot of people, probably because we grew up watching him as Dylan McKay on 90210. And he was very much loved by anyone who knew him, it seems, just a, a really, really great guy. There are five Libras who have brightened up the world. On Saturday, August 14th, Saturday is Saturn's day, the day of the week ruled by the planet Saturn, the planet of discipline and responsibility. So if you have any loose ends you need to tie up, maybe do so on Saturday. Scorpio moon all day Saturday. Scorpio words and phrases include desire, passion, control, power, depth, they're very deep, regeneration, sexuality, emotion, survival, trauma, intensity, and mystery. Now, under a Scorpio moon, usually there is some kind of letting go. There's some kind of death. There's some kind of metamorphosis. It doesn't have to be catastrophic. It might be minor. It might be a positive change, but usually there's a transition under the Scorpio moon. So Go with the flow, uh, remain flexible, and be gentle with yourself under your Scorpio moon this weekend. And on Sunday, August 15th, Sunday is the sun's day, so be sure to celebrate yourself, celebrate being alive. Scorpio moon for most of the day on Sunday, entering Sagittarius at 11.11, make a wish, p.m. EDT. Scorpio moon on Sunday is good for research, investigation, healing, sex, regenerating, transforming, endings. If you have to let something or someone go, do it under a Scorpio moon. Art, moving on and letting go. Thank you for watching Organize Your Ass Astrology. Please be sure to like this video and to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And if you're looking for a psychic astrology reading. We will read your tarot cards. We'll run your astrological chart, show you how you can make the most of the sun in Leo. Just check out my website, psychicsun.com, and we will hook you up with a reading. Have a kick-ass week, and I will see you soon.